Learn with Peppa Pig. Dancing. Today we are going to learn about dancing. There are lots of different ways we can dance. Shall we have a look at some of them? <laughs> Great! Let's get ready to dance with Peppa. Look, it's Peppa's birthday. Peppa and her friends are dancing to some party music. It's quite fast, isn't it? See how they're moving their arms from side to side. Can you move your arms from side to side too? Good job! It's fun to dance with other people, especially at a party. Let's look at some more dancing. Oh, Madame Gazelle is teaching a ballet class to Peppa and her friends. See how this dancing is much slower. What lovely dancing, Madame Gazelle! Ballet is a type of dancing that is graceful. Ballet dancers wear special ballet shoes and sometimes dance on their tiptoes. Why don't you have a go with Peppa and her friends? Oh, good try everyone. Let's look at some different dancing, shall we? Golly, it's very loud. Peppa and her family are at a concert. There are lots of people dancing together here. Look how they're jumping up and down and waving their arms about to the music. This dancing is much quicker again. Shall we join them? That's it. Jump up and down and wave your arms to the music. Woohoo! Wow, fun! Ah, some slower dancing again. What funny dancing! Peppa and her friends are dancing like robots. Can you dance like a robot? Why don't you have a go? That's it! I bet that was fun, wasn't it? Look, Danny Dog is doing a different dance. This dance is much quicker now. It's called marching. Look how Peppa and her friends are lifting their legs up and down to the beat. Let's join them. One, two, one, two, marching to the beat. That's it. Great marching. Oh, what a lovely day. A lovely day to dance and twirl in the park. Whee! It's great to dance outdoors. Can you twirl with Peppa? Have a go. Yay! Yay! Great twirling. Well, this is exciting. This is called line dancing. Line dancing is a special type of dance where everyone stands in a line and does the same movements all together. Let's join them. Step to the left. Step to the right. Step to the left. Take your partner by the hand. Now everybody swing! Yeehaw! It's great fun to line dance with other people. Well, what a lot of fun that was. You've just learned about lots of different styles of dancing. Which one was your favourite? Was it dancing and swinging your arms at a party with friends? Dancing on your toes like a ballet dancer, jumping up and down and waving your arms at a concert, moving as if you were a robot, twirling around, or line dancing with your friends. Whatever it was, I hope you had lots of fun. That's amazing! Learn with Peppa Pig. Recycling. Today we're going to learn all about recycling. <laughs> Recycling is when we reuse old materials so they can be made into something brand new. It's important to recycle as it helps look after our planet. Let's have a look at how recycling works. It's bin day and Mr. Bull is collecting the rubbish. Wait for us, Mr. Bull! Pepper and her family have sorted their recycling into three different bin bags. The red bag with the paper symbol is for paper and cardboard. The blue one with cans on is for metal. The green one with the glass bottles on is for glass. Once the items are sorted, they are cleaned and made into something new. This is called recycling. There are lots of things all around us that can be recycled. Let's have a look and see how many we can find. Pepper is helping clear up after breakfast. Hold on, Pepper, that glass bottle can be recycled. Which colored bin do you think it goes in? 
That's right, in the green bin with all the other glass bottles. <coughs> Look, George has found a newspaper. Newspaper can also be recycled. <coughs> Which coloured bin should it go in? Yes, the newspaper goes in the red bin for paper and cardboard. There are lots of other places where we can find things to recycle. Pepper and her family are going shopping. There are lots of things in the supermarket that can be recycled. Can you spot any of them? Look, here are some jars, some cartons and some bottles. Once they have been used, they can all be recycled. Let's see what else there is here to be recycled. Oh look, can you see what can be recycled here? Yes, the cans can be recycled. Well done! Yippee! <laughs> Look, Pepper and George are painting pictures at Playgroup. Can you see what can be recycled here? That's right! Paper! And what about here? That's right again! The cardboard box can also be recycled. When they finished playing with it, of course. Look, Madame Gazelle is hosting a game. Shall we play our own game about recycling? Yippee! Great! Let's go! <laughs> Pepper and her family are at the recycling centre. Can you help them sort the recycling into the right coloured bin? Which bin does this newspaper go in? Paper! That's right, Brilliant. it's paper, so it goes in the red bin. Which bin does this can go in? That one goes in the blue metal bin over there. Well done, it goes in the blue bin for metal. Which bin should this glass bottle go in? That green bottle bin. Right again, it's made of glass, so it goes in the green bin for glass. And what bin does this paper shopping list go in? Paper! Yes, it's the red bin for paper again. Well done! You just learned all about how to recycle. Why don't you have a look around your home and see how many things you can recycle? Remember to check with a grown-up before you recycle anything, though. Happy recycling! <laughs> That's amazing! Learn with Peppa Pig. Space. Today we're going to learn all about space. Are you excited? I am. Let's go to space. Ooh, look, it's night time and Pepper and her family are stargazing. Can you see? They are looking at the stars. See how they twinkle in the sky. When we look at the stars, we are looking into space. Shall we take a closer look at the stars? Super! Pepper and her family are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Ooh, what's that? It's a telescope. A telescope helps us to see things that are very far away. We can use a telescope to look closer at the stars. Look at that. See how close that star looks. We can see lots of other things in space too. A planet. A shooting star. We can even see the moon. Shall we explore some more of space with Pepper? Great! Let's continue on our adventure. Yippee! <laughs> Look, Granny Pig is wearing a spacesuit. A spacesuit is what we wear when we go into space. It protects us and has a big helmet that helps us breathe. People who go into space are called astronauts. But how might we get to space? Shall we see? Oh, a rocket is a vehicle that takes us into space. Three, two, one, blast off! Whoosh, the rocket is flying into space. Zoom! Look, they've landed safely on the moon. I wonder what it's like on the moon. Shall we see? Whee! You can jump very high on the moon. Whee! 
Well done, George. A flag to show that you were here. Ooh, a space rock. Let's take it home with us. Time to go. And back home safely. That was an adventure. Oh, look, Madame Gazelle is hosting a game. Shall we play our own game about space? Fantastic. Off Yippee! we go. <laughs> Pepper and her family are looking up at the sky at night. What are they looking at? <laughs> That's right, the stars. And what might we use to look closer at the stars? Yes, a telescope. What else might we see through a telescope? Well done, a shooting star, a planet and the moon. Which vehicle do we use to get to the moon? Yes, a rocket. What do we wear to go into space? That's right, a spacesuit. And what do we call someone who goes into space? Well done, an astronaut. Well done, you've just learned all about space, how to get there and what you might find there. Why don't you imagine being an astronaut and what your own space adventure might be like? Off you go. Three, two, one, blast off. Learn with Peppa Pig. Days of the week. Today we are going to learn about the days of the week. Yippee! <laughs> there are seven days in a week. Shall we find out what they are? Each day has a different name. The beginning of the week starts with Monday. After Monday comes Tuesday. Wednesday is next. Followed by Thursday, then Friday. After Friday, we have Saturday, then Sunday. After Sunday, the week begins again with Monday. Shall we have a look at that again together? The seven days of the week are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Great job. Now we know what the days of the week are called, let's see what Pepper might do on all those days. <laughs> well, Pepper might do lots of things on different days of the week. Today it's Monday and Pepper is going to play group. Have a lovely day, Pepper. I wonder what she'll do tomorrow. Shall we see? It's Tuesday, and Pepper is visiting Granny and Grandpa's house. Now it's Wednesday, and Pepper is having a play date with Susie Sheep. On Thursday, she might jump in a muddy puddle. On Friday, Pepper might go to the park to play. On Saturday, she might go shopping with Mummy and Daddy Pig. And on Sunday, Peppa might go to the beach. There are lots of different things to do in the week. What sort of things might you do this week? Yippee! <laughs> Look, Peppa is playing in the playground with her friends today. Today means this day that we are in now. Yesterday was the day before today. Yesterday, Peppa went for a walk with her family in the forest. And tomorrow, Peppa is going to go to the petting farm. Tomorrow will be the day after today. What are you doing today? Can you remember what you did yesterday? And what will you do tomorrow? Whatever it is, I hope you have fun. Well done. 
you've just learned about what a day is, how many days there are in a week, and what the days of the week are called. Have a great day! Learn with Peppa Pig, Peppa and You. Today we're going to learn about Peppa and what makes her unique. We're all unique. That means there is no one else exactly like us. Isn't that great? Yippee! <laughs> This is Pepper. Hello, Pepper. Shall we find out what makes Pepper unique? Let's go. Look, Pepper is drawing a picture of herself. When we draw a picture of ourselves, it's called a self portrait. She lives in a house with Mummy and Daddy Pig and her little brother George. Peppa goes to a playgroup with her friends, and Madame Gazelle is her teacher. These are all things that make Peppa unique. There are lots of other things that make Peppa unique. Shall we find out what some of those things are? <laughs> Peppa loves doing lots of different things. She likes playing Happy Mrs. Chicken on the computer. She enjoys riding her bicycle. Whee! Whee! She loves eating spaghetti. She likes reading. There are so many great books to choose from. And she especially loves jumping in muddy puddles. Her best friend is Susie Sheep. She has a pet fish called Goldie. Her favourite toy is Teddy. These are all things that make Pepper unique. Yippee! <laughs> you are also unique. Can you think of some things that make you different from everyone else? Shall we look together? How old are you? Do you go to a playgroup or to a school? Maybe you have a teacher like Madame Gazelle. There are lots of things that Pepper enjoys. Can you think of some things that you like doing? What do you like to watch on the television? What food do you like to eat? Pepper loves to jump in muddy puddles. Is there something you particularly love to do? What toys do you like playing with? Perhaps you have a special book you like to read. Maybe you have a pet or a best friend. Look, there are so many things that make you unique as well. Isn't that fantastic? Well done. You've just learned about what makes Pepper and you unique. That's amazing! Learn with Peppa Pig. Technology. Today we're going to learn about technology and how Yippee! it works. <laughs> there are lots of different types of technology. Televisions, computers, phones, and even some of our toys. Shall we find out more about them? <laughs> Great, let's go! Technology uses electricity or batteries to work. Look, there's the plug and there's the socket. In it goes. Electricity comes from the socket so the television will work. We should never touch a socket. And we should always ask a grown-up to plug things in for us. Some technology uses batteries instead of a plug. Batteries make electricity, so the toy can work. If we don't have electricity or batteries, technology won't work. Look, Pepper and George are dancing to some music. Daddy Pig is vacuuming. And Mummy Pig is working on her computer. Oh, the lights have gone out. 
Pepper and George's music has stopped. Daddy Pig's vacuum cleaner won't work. And Mummy Pig's computer has switched off. There has been a power cut. There is no electricity. Electricity is what makes the technology in Pepper's house work. Shall we have a look at some different types of technology? Great. <laughs> Susie Sheep is watching Mr. Potato on the television. Television is a type of technology. We watch our favorite shows on a television. Look, wow. Pepper and her family are on the television. Hello, Pepper. Perhaps you have a favorite show you like to watch on television. <laughs> Let's look at some other types of technology. <laughs> Mummy Pig is working on her computer at home. A computer is also a type of technology. We use a computer to work on. We might also use a computer to play games on. Pepper and George love playing Happy Mrs. Chicken on Mummy Pig's computer. We should always ask a grown-up though before we use their computer. Look, Pepper and George are playing their favorite game on a tablet now. A tablet is also a type of technology. It's a small computer that we can carry around with us. Perhaps you've used one before. Today, George is shopping for a new dinosaur. Hello, Dino Roar. Roar! Look at that. Dino Roar walks and talks. A toy like Dino Roar can also be a type of technology. Oh dear, oh. Dino Roar has run out of battery. The batteries inside Dino Roar are what makes him work. Look, George's other dinosaur doesn't have batteries inside. So he's not a type of technology. He's just a lovely toy. Uh -oh. oh dear, dinner is burnt. But not to worry, Daddy Pig is ordering a takeaway on his mobile phone. A phone is also a type of technology. We can use a phone for lots of things. We can phone our family and friends and speak to them. We can make a video call and see them too. We can take a picture, play a game. And we can even use our phone to pay for things. Well done, that was some great learning. You learned that technology works by using electricity or batteries. You also learned about different types of technology, including a television, a computer, a tablet, some toys, and a mobile phone. Have you seen some of these types of technology around your home? Why don't you have a look and see how many you can find? Learn with Peppa Pig. Safety. Today we're going to learn about different ways we can stay safe. It's important to stay safe so we don't get hurt. Shall we start? <laughs> Police Officer Panda is teaching Peppa and her friends how to cross the road safely. When we cross the road, we should always be with a grown-up. Before crossing the road, we should stop, look, listen, and always wait for the green man. What should we remember when crossing the road? Stop, look, and listen. All clear, no cars. That's right. We should stop, look, and listen. It's all clear. There are no cars, and it's safe to cross now. Pepper and her friends have crossed the road safely. <laughs> you should also be careful at home when things might be hot, sharp or fragile and break easily. Pepper and her family are making pizzas in the kitchen. Mmm, they do look yummy. Look, Mummy Pig is wearing oven gloves to put the pizzas into the oven. The oven is hot, so we should be very careful. Daddy Pig's barbecue is also hot. Fire can burn us. Take care, Daddy Pig. Oh dear. Miss Rabbit to the rescue. Thank you, Mummy Firefighters.
There are other things we should also be careful of at home. In the kitchen, we might use a knife for chopping or cutting up food. It's very sharp, so you should let a grown-up do it for you. Yippee! <laughs> Sometimes we can wear special safety clothes to help us stay safe. Pepper and George are fishing with Grandpa Pig on his boat. Oh, Pepper's caught a boot. Pepper, George and Grandpa Pig are wearing bright yellow life jackets. Look, can you see? A life jacket keeps us safe when we're on a boat, so it's important to wear one. Shall we see what else we might wear to keep us safe around water? Look, Pepper and her family are at the swimming pool. Pepper and George wear armbands in the swimming pool to help them float and stay safe. We wear armbands when we're learning to swim. Let's have a look at some of the other places where we might wear different things to help us stay safe. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are learning to ride their bikes. They wear helmets on their heads to keep them safe in case they fall off. Look, it's Mr. Bull. Mr. Bull is a construction worker. He wears a hard hat and a bright yellow vest to keep him safe and seen at work. Mummy Pig and Miss Rabbit wear special yellow uniforms to keep them safe from fire. Fire can burn, so it's important for them to protect themselves. Yippee! <laughs> Ooh, look! Madame Gazelle is hosting a game. Shall we play our own game? Fantastic! Let's go! What should we wear when we're learning to swim to help us float and stay safe? That's right! Armbands! What should we do before we cross the road? We should stop, look and listen and wait for the green man. What should grown-ups wear when taking things out of the oven? That's right again! They should wear oven gloves to protect their hands. Remember, only grown-ups should take things out of the oven. What should we wear when we ride on a boat? Yes, a life jacket. And what should we wear on our heads when riding a bike? Well done! A helmet to protect our heads! You've just learned about some of the different ways we can stay safe and some of the safety clothes that we might wear to protect us. That's amazing! Learn with Peppa Pig. Fruits and vegetables. Today, we're going to learn about fruits and vegetables. <laughs> Peppa and her friends love eating fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are very good for us. There are lots of different fruits and vegetables. Shall we find out about some of them? <laughs> Great! <laughs> Pepper and George are helping Grandpa Pig in his garden. Grandpa Pig is growing lots of different fruits and vegetables. Look, apple trees. Oh, a lovely red apple. Apples grow on trees, but not all fruit does. Other fruit might grow from plants, like strawberries or tomatoes. Tomatoes are also a fruit. I'll help you, George. Look, a carrot. One, two, three, pull! Some vegetables, like carrots, grow underground. Where do fruits and vegetables grow? That's right, on trees, plants or underground. Shall we have a look at some different types of fruits and vegetables? Great! <laughs> Pepper and her friends are choosing their favourite fruit. There are lots to choose from. Pepper's favourite fruit is an apple. An apple is round and crunchy and can be red or green. Susie Sheep's favourite fruit is an orange. An orange is round and juicy and the colour orange. You have to peel an orange before you eat it. Emily Elephant's favourite fruit is a banana. A banana is long and yellow and soft to eat. You also have to peel a banana to eat it. 
I wonder what George's favourite fruit is. A strawberry. Strawberries are small, red and sweet to eat. You can mix different fruits together to make a delicious smoothie. Oh, look, baby Alexander is eating broccoli. Baby Alexander loves broccoli. Broccoli is a vegetable. These stools look like little trees. They're broccoli. <laughs> look, here is some broccoli growing in Grandpa Pig's garden. Broccoli is green and looks a little bit like a tiny tree. Shall we see what else Grandpa Pig is growing? Some lettuce. That's a big one. Lettuce is green and round with lots of leaves. Some carrots. Carrots are long and orange with green tops. Oh look, Pepper and George have found another orange vegetable. Do you know what this is? It's a pumpkin. A pumpkin is large, round and orange. These are just a few vegetables. There are lots of different ones to try. <laughs> oh, look, it's Mr. Potato, and he's playing a game about fruits and vegetables. Shall we join in? What is a strawberry, fruit or vegetable? That's right, a strawberry is a fruit. What is a carrot, fruit or vegetable? Well done! A carrot is a vegetable! What is a banana? Fruit or vegetable? Right again! A banana is a fruit! What is a lettuce? Fruit or vegetable? Correct! A lettuce is a vegetable! And what is an orange? Fruit or vegetable? That's right again! An orange is a fruit! Well done! And now for a special bonus question! Which fruit is round, can be red or green, and grows on a tree? That's right! An apple! Great work! Well done! You've just learned about different types of fruits and vegetables, and how some of them grow. What's your favourite fruit and vegetable? Why don't you try something new? <laughs> That's amazing!